All right, so let's do a couple more examples just to get you guys familiar with uh, slope solvers, just uh, just to show you how easy it is to just make pretty cool sort of MoGraph type stuff. Let's do a uh, test geometry, uh, rubber head, for example, uh, not rubber head, rubber toy. Let's convert this to a line. All right, there we go. So we got a line geometry and let's throw this into a solver. All right. So here in the solver, we have a bunch of stuff we can uh, we can do. Let's um, let's try this is an attribute volt, and let's add a little bit of noise like we did before. So let's get a little bit bigger, All right? Let's just add it to the position. 3D noise, add it to position, add it to position. All right. Let's promote these parameters. There you go. All right. Um, maybe different noise type, maybe simplex noise. All right. So if we're gonna be playing this, uh, oh, this maybe let's not do the amplitude. Uh, all right. So you can see it's sort of gonna push it apart. The problem here is that yeah, well, everything just gets stretched out, right? It looks a little bit weird. Uh, it's because of course we're we're dealing just with this geometry and it is a limited amount of points um not looking great well all right so but we like we have control over like we have uh all of our sub tools here so what we could do for example we could add a resample here if we add a resample so our resample is going to essentially resample these curves that we have so if we're gonna press play now it's gonna add points every every frame so you can see now we're gonna get New geometry and now you, oh we suddenly get nice smooth lines you can already see this is a pretty cool sort of uh mography type look right we're just looking at here we're gonna we can quickly get sort of a just a very interesting looking um piece of geometry without doing much anything i mean we just done, done a couple of notes we can make this we can make this even more interesting yeah um Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to tumble, if you hold control, you can tumble. I, when I was getting started, I would sometimes accidentally tumble and then I didn't know what I was doing. But with control, you can sort of tumble. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, we can make this even more interesting if you want. For example, what we could do is we could say, all right, if these pieces move really close together, we could, we could fuse them and then they're going to be one one line so let's do let's do a fuse in between let's see see what that's gonna do so now when they get close they're gonna fuse not seeing that much of a difference maybe we should increase the snap distance a little bit all right so now, yeah you now you can see they're sort of when they get close they sort of get snapped together we can make this even more interesting if after we do this we're gonna add a little smooth. So the smooth is gonna smooth out our geometry. And all right, let's have a look. So this is gonna smooth out curls, curves while it's being fused. And you can see we're getting a really interesting thing going on here. Maybe made, let's make our sequence a little bit long. Let's make it 30 FPS, by the way. It just makes a little bit more sense, maybe. We're not making a movie here. Oh, all right. All right. But you can see really quickly, we just get something super interesting. You know, like if you just take this and then go in here and you uh, um, you su you sweep this whole thing, do a uh, do a round tube, and maybe we should do a polyframe to generate some directions tangent. Oh, if you didn't know that with polyframe, you can, um, if you put the normal in the tangent, you get sort of, you get normal sort of facing the curves direction. So you can use that, for example, with a sweep like this. Let's make it, um, maybe we should, shouldn't do, maybe we should do a ribbon. Might be a little bit more interesting. Normal. 
we can we can see the back side so it's gonna look a little bit weird here um maybe we should yeah. all right maybe we should do a ribbon mm. i mean it's not perfect but you kind of get the point here maybe we should just do polywire instead polywire will probably give us a better result here yeah right there we go Yeah, normal. All right. Yeah, right. In this case, this is going to give us a better result. You see, we're getting quite an interesting sort of result. Just from a very simple sort of thing, you could you could already see if you're going to just take an interesting camera position and you really you do this in slow motion, you can see yeah, you can make something pretty interesting here. So let's just let's remove this stuff. And let's do, let's do another example here. Uh, all right, geometry example three because we can we can take this the same stuff and just do do some more interesting things like for example we could do a uh, sphere so I do the other stuff let's do a polygon let's increase the geometry quite a lot all right there we go do a solver let's do a uh, Let's do just do this something similar that we did over here. Let's just maybe grab all the stuff that we have here. And uh, we don't want to resample necessarily, but we could instead here the noise, and we want to maybe remesh this. So this is this would remesh it every frame. Then we're gonna get something quite interesting. You can see now we're gonna get something similar, but now with a uh, piece of geometry. And you could, of course, also you could fuse this and smooth it. You can see we can we already get some nice sort of organic y organic type shape we could do some more interesting things here we could say right uh, we have a displace along normal we could grab the position and we could add the noise here to the amount to the noise and then do it like and then do that instead now it's going to sort of inflate in the uh, normal direction why is this not working do we need to put in the normal and maybe red. Right, so now it's going to inflate sort of in the normal normal direction. This is uh, essentially what displays along normal does. Essentially, all it does is this position. And where do you have normal? Add. Like if you were to grab. If we were to do this, it's essentially, oh wait, let me, let's disable all this other stuff. Um, oh wait, I should put the normal in instead, right? So this is essentially just gonna inflate the, inflate the sphere by the normal. If I were to do displace along normal without anything plugged in or like right then, and then let's do the position the normal plug in position this should do and we should in amount do one all right this should roughly do the same yeah you can see it's essentially doing the same but the displacement on normal has some additional sort of features um and we're in here in this case we're just adding a little bit of noise in there and then it's going to sort of displace it into the direction of the normal and then if we're gonna go in here and all right all right there you go let's play all right and you can see we're gonna get we're gonna get a sort of a, a piece of geometry as remeshing every frame adding interesting detail there so it's quite, it's quite cool.
and you can already see like you can you can do cool stuff here uh we're gonna do something like this with vdbs later uh but for example what you could also do here is we could say right want to measure maybe we want to measure the curvature curvature so cur curvature is going to measure sort of the uh um, what the curvature of the surface we could we can have a look at this and we want this on points all right there we go let's um let's visualize this ramped attribute and let's do curvature and should maybe let's see if we yeah you can see um when it's more curved, it's going to be more white. And then the stuff there is going to be more black. So we could we could bind this in. And this is... So if you bind, you can load an attribute into your Vault network. And you should already know that, but now you know it again. Let's do curvature. All right. And we can, for example, multiply the amount that we displace this stuff by the curvature. And this is stuff we're going to be doing with, with some VDBs as well later. And then it's going to get super interesting. But then you already sort of know sort of the concept here and doing it in geometry level. So if we're going to press play now, we probably want to fit range this, this thing here. Want to maybe. All right. So it's always going to be minimum of zero one. Um, All right, let's make that a little bit. Not getting as interesting a result as I'd hoped. I was hoping it would start to look a little bit more interesting, but maybe if we, uh, oh, all right, now we're breaking it. All right, so let's push these maximum values a little bit. So this is not ideal with doing it on geometry level. This is where a VDB advection would really shine. But again, we're gonna we're gonna cover that in a little bit. All right, yeah, you can see. So now it's gonna essentially do it based on the curvature. So the more curvaceous stuff is gonna be displaced uh, more than the than the other stuff. Problem here is that of course we're dealing with geometry, so we're gonna get some geometry on the inside as well. So that's not that's not super ideal. You could, instead of remeshing this, say, all right, to get rid of that, let's do VDB from polygons. And then convert VDB. And then and we're gonna do a step in between where we're actually using VDB to sort of remesh this and you can already see and we don't get the sort of the inside stuff. We can we can already see how this is sort of uh, getting getting pretty cool. Once we start doing this with VDBs, there's there's a lot of cool stuff we can we can also do because now we're actually advecting the VDB. But uh, working on geometry might be a little bit faster in some cases. But yeah, you can you can already see that. We're getting we're getting pretty cool sort of interesting growth effects going on here. You can already see that like if we put a camera here and we just do something like this, it's already looking pretty cool. You could if you render this, do some triplanar projection here to get some UVs on there. It's already running to look pretty cool. Um yeah, cool stuff you can do just with just some very simple stuff in sub solvers um i mean experiment to your heart's content there's there's so much stuff you can do with this but um yeah that's uh so let's let's have a look at a couple more examples <laughs> 